Fourth down at the goal line for Orlando. Orlando trailing 7-2. This ball game has come down to this here in the first half. Bennett has been held out of the end zone twice. Let's see what happens. Bennett tries it again. Sneaks in. Touchdown, Orlando. All he has to do is break the plane of the end zone. Of the goal line, and it's a touchdown. Great surge up front by Keith Browner, Gizzy, and Bennett. But when you get down that close, the quarterback's going to get in. Well, it is beef on beef at that point, and Bennett simply follows the beef. Says, where's the beef? I got to get underneath this. He does. Perkins tries to come up with yet another big-time hit. Can't do it. And Orlando takes an 8-7 lead. It can add to that right here on the point after. John Markson will try the point after. Ben Bennett on the hold. Ben Bennett now with six minutes to go and a half is 7-14 for 80 yards. All set up by that long pass to Reggie Smith earlier John in the drive. Markson, the kick is up and good. So Orlando adds to its lead at 9-7 here with 6.02 left to go in the second period. And the Tampa Bay Storm will have to come back once again. So both teams taking advantage of big plays early on to set up the touchdowns. For Tampa Bay, it was a fumble recovery by Bo Wright. That set up a Tracy Perkins four-yard run. And then, immediately after Orlando received the football on third down and long, Ben Bennett goes deep to Reggie Smith. That takes it inside the five-yard line, and Orlando was able to get it in from there. But it wasn't easy by any means, was it, Scott? It was not at all. There's Perry Moss, the head coach of the Orlando team, and this team is playing for pride. Like we said earlier, they are not going to the playoffs. They're playing for pride. This is their last home game, a chance to show the fans that they care about what's going on in Orlando with this league. So the kickoff, Brad Caleb loses it out of the end of the end zone. So Tampa Bay will take over. And Tampa Bay looking to come back and regain the lead. Chip Ferguson, a quarterback again. Jay Gruden, the starting quarterback throughout the season for Tampa Bay, has been having trouble, has a bad shoulder, didn't even suit up tonight. So it's all up to Chip Ferguson. By the way, John Darnell is on the bench. He was a man that was with Tampa Bay early in the season. He's, from, he's out of Mississippi, played very well in a preseason game. He will come in if needed. The pitch back, goal right. Gets it over the right side, gets a couple of yards, nothing more. We have a fight down on the field. That is Carl Watts taking on Brian Moore. If you're Brian, Brian Moore, that's not Brian too smart taking on an offensive lineman. Yeah, you don't want to do that, Brian. Pick up somebody, you're Get done. back in the huddle, done, Brian Moore. Hey, Moore, you're done. <laughs> this is great. Fans are right there on top of it, and they're jumping in on the fight, too. <laughs> Thing is, you probably think about 10 fans. After the play against Orlando, a person. Bullshit! Well, that solves an awful lot. <laughs> Upsetting penalties and just leave it the way it was. Watts very easily could have been called for the infraction here because he retaliated. And when you retaliate, the second guy is normally the guy that gets the flag. Second down, seven for Tampa Bay. Flags down again. So the old crafty Seminole, Chip Ferguson, is doing a good job of getting Orlando You're off balance. You know, it's good You're to see stupid, Mark Zeno back in the, in the lineup. Stupid. He's been out, been hurt a little bit. When he got hurt, I thought he might be out for the season, so it's good to see him back. Here's a look at Orlando's touchdown. The scoring summary, again, all set up by that long pass. Ben Bennett kind of wedges it in for the one-yard run, and that gives Orlando the two-point lead. Second down and five for Tampa Bay at the 10-yard line. Ferguson has a man wide open. Oh, 